Hi, it's Reagan of Amore Designs, and I'm here to share with you a mini album that I made. Um, I made it for a baby. It's a baby mini. And um, I got my inspiration from the invitation, and it has the little Avengers, and they're so cute. I love this so much. And um, it is, I think it's five and a half by... Let me just measure. Yeah, it's five and a half by seven and a half, the cover is. And then this is, the pages are black envelopes and they're five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, I believe. Yeah. So, I um, was going to originally like copy this and cut out the little guys and put them in the mini album. But then I was like, ooh, it would be really cute for it to look like a comic book. So I don't know, the, you know, like a huge amount about superheroes or anything, but so I tried to like do the boxy stuff. And I think this turned out so super cute. It would be cute for, you know, an older little boy that was into superheroes too, because it's not babyish. Um, I used papers from my, from my stash and also from the Studio Calico kits. And this black and white polka dot paper is stamping up. Um, let's see, I had this from a Studio 112 pack from, I think Michael's, and they're stickers, but I bought these for a specific project, so I didn't want to use them, so what I did is I took my, um, gold paper from Stampin' Up, and I just traced them and cut them out with my, um, craft knife, and then I outlined them with black marker. This is a stamp, let me see if I can find it. <coughs> This is a stamp set that I got at um, Tuesday mornings for $1.99. And it has a little girl and a little boy and all of these cute little things. So I used um, the words out of the stamp set. And um, I just, you know, went around it with black pen and cut it out and popped it up. So that's my cover. I tried to go really simple because I didn't really know what to do with the cover. The insides are just white. And then these are the pages. And like I said, they're envelopes. So the end of them open up and there's an insert. Um, I did um, photo mat. And then um, this is um, some paper from the Studio Calico kit. Hey, Nora, will you give her her passy, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, from the Studio Calico kit with all of the little speech bowls. And I love that paper so much. And then the, these words I cut from... Oh, it's... Um, Melody Ross, is that who it is? Um, her word paper. So this one says, it was a very special day. And then I did like, I stamped, oh, I stamped stars from that stamp set too. So, and everything has a black mat. So there's the first page. And then I'm not going to do, I may not pull out all the inserts because they're all really similar. So it's got the wallet size photo with, um, you know, like a speech bubble or a little box that has one of the words. And then it has journaling space. And then on the back is for a four by six photo. So each, um, each pocket has room for two photos, a four by six and a wallet, or slightly bigger than a wallet. And then there's a photo space. Here's room for a four by six photo, and I also left this a pocket. So more photos can be stuck in there, or little keepsakes can be stuck in there. And then um, this is where the little comic inspiration comes from. I did really, you know, boxed it out. Um, this is where the wallet goes, then extra boxes. There could go, a there could be a photo here, and it would be one and three quarter by one and three quarter if they wanted to put a photo here. And then, you know, another speech bubble with Wham. And then this says, they seem to have a secret language. And then again, it has the insert on the inside. Um, I also cut out stars. So there's a star. This is for a three and a half by five photo, and this is also a pocket for more goodies. Um, for more goodies or extra pictures and then this picture this is my least favorite page the back of the baby shower imitation looks like this so I copied it and um, printed it off and used it as paper in the mini album but I don't like how I set this up I wish I would have put the pow in here in red and then I think it would look better but um you know, it's not awful. It's my least favorite page, but it's still, you know, it's still cute. So they can, and also they're, you know, they can journal in the, um, in the speech bubbles. I thought it'd be cute to put, you know, the baby's name, weight, date of birth, you know, all that stuff. So they can journal in here and then room for a wallet. 
there, and there's also an insert in there. This is another four by six, and I tried to alternate, so you'll notice a pattern. So there's four by six photo with pocket, a comic inspired page with the wallet and you know little things so they can journal here and this says a life of adventure never a dull moment and um, I think this pic this spot right here could fit a two by two photo if they wanted this is a three and a half by five with a pocket and then this is just a um, paper clip that I added um, stars to on either side but um, there's nothing in here they can just add their own this one has another one of the little um, I don't even know what those are. Pow. <laughs> and um, wallet, large wallet. Um, more of the little things from the paper. Or again, they can journal right here. It says boom. Another insert in there. And all the inserts look the same. Again, 4 by 6 photo. Comic book page. Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember what. Um, Okay, I don't remember what size that is. Um, then this is the speech bubble to journal in. Wallet, this says he was incredibly brave. And then, um, you know, room to, uh, or another insert. And then another three and a half by photo slot. The only difference is, is because this was gray and it was on gray, I put um, a wallet size photo mat in here with a paper clip. So there's that. And these are one of the Studio Calico cards, so. That fits in there. And then the background on three of the pages, on the ones with the three and a half by five, I did um, something different with the pages. I took the stamps, the word stamps, and I just did my own background paper with it. So then the back cover is white, and on the back has a little comic, bi um, comic book block, and it has my name in, the t in 2012, and then it says, it was an end and it was a beginning. Um, I thought that was really cute for a baby album. It was an end and it was a beginning. So anyways, I think it turned out super cute. I'd love to know what you think. Um, excuse my messy desk. I've been working. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.